Trish Patrick and I'm going to be um, teaching you how to make moccasins, adult moccasins, youth moccasins. So you would have received a kit ahead of time. In your kit you will have a piece of sinew, a leather needle, um, this is considered your cuff of your moccasin, this is the vamp, and this is your foot. Okay, so to start, we are going to start the back. So, you can tie a knot. At this point, you want your knot big enough so it doesn't easily slip through the holes that have been pre-punched. I'm gonna flip my camera so you can see better. I'm gonna start um, the inside out. So this is where we're starting, inside out. Okay. Oh no, I lost my needle. It's a good thing these ne the eyes on these needles are big, so it's not hard to thread versus beading needles. I'm going to do a basic stitch all the way around. Punch on my end, the holes. Okay, so now you're at the fourth hole. At this hole, you're gonna include this one. So So this is what it's going to look like inside out. Just starting to add this. So everyone has their own preference of how they like to sew. So whatever your preference is, as long as you're not missing holes, keeping a good mind when you're making moccasins, sending out lots of love, to however they're being made for, even if it's yourself, especially yourself. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you get to the end. We're just going to come back through. And we should be at our middle point, so we're going to start sewing up. At our middle point, we're going to go through all three holes. And we're going to start sewing up the back. Birds are singing a very beautiful song today. Okay. Come back down. One. And just tie. This is how I like to tie knots on the inside. So you're going to be on the inside. I'm going to come through this. Come through. 
Just tying that line. Two. Might do one more. That just reinforces um, the sewing that we've already done. Scissors. Okay. <clears throat> so there's our back. Just going to re-thread my sinew here. You'll notice that as you go, um, you'll just keep re-threading re, um, your, your needle with sinew. I don't like to work with sinew that's too long. In my experience, one arm length is enough. It tends to get tangled if I if I make that any larger. Okay, so again, tying knots. So we're going to count the holes on our vamp. This little V part is, it goes on the inside. So if we just try to lay out our moccasin like this. On your kids, you would have received a piece of strip leather. Um, this is to tie the moccasin on when it's finished. So we're going to gently put, just place it in. It doesn't need to be sewn in, um, but we do need it. I'm just going to get a camera in between holes at this point. So. And we're going to count. So there's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So starting, starting at our heel, we're gonna count eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the eighth hole, we're gonna start tacking our cuff on. So we're just going to work backwards. We're working towards um, meeting at the heel part of our moccasin. And to do this part, so we've tied it on like this, come back through and start tacking our cuff on. Okay. You notice we're back where we started. That's totally fine. We're coming back through where we started. So just squeeze the needle through. So it's a little bit tough because your first knot is there. Um, this is an, another form of reinforcing always reinforcing to make sure our moccasin doesn't fall apart in the end. You'll notice that your tie here just slides super easily and that's what we want. Okay, so now we're going to come back through and just do a simple stitch all the way around the moccasin. Tying our cuff on. Take your time, um, 
double check, make sure you haven't missed any holes. Um, because if that happens, um, you'll definitely be learning the teaching of patience because you'll have to take everything apart that you've already done and do it over. So just take your time, no rush. Okay, so you should be at your V point, so your last hole before the V. And again, your um, V point should be in the middle of where your heel is, where you started out from, so it'll look like this. That's your V point, and it goes right where your heel um, stitching is. Okay, so just keeping in mind that uh, just ensuring that your um, tie is still nicely tucked in. So you'll notice that where we started the stitching, there's one hole we started at. You're not going to sew anything through there. You're gently stitching over and starting your next eight holes on your cuff. Again, just make sure that um, you're not missing any holes, that the holes on your foot are lining with the holes on your cuff. Okay, there we go, it's starting to shape nicely, should be starting to shape nicely. You'll find your own way or technique that works best for you. Um, there's no certain way of um, doing moccasins um, I will say that um, it's always important to me to give thanks um, to the deer before I start making moccasins just to give thanks put some tobacco down for the deer that's given up its life for for this pair of moccasins Okay, so I'm just on my last hole here before I start the vamp. Gonna tie off in the middle. So this part I'm just gonna go back through. Tie off here on the inside of the cuff. And believe it or not, we're almost done. We just have to tie the cuff or tack the cuff down. So this is what it should look like so far. If your sinew is still almost arm length, you should have enough to sew your cuff on. If it's not, my suggestion is to cut another piece. Um, the last thing you want to do is start tacking your, your vamp down and realize you don't have enough sinew.
So yeah, make sure when you're moving on to this last part here that you're, you have enough sinew. Okay, so not. I'm just going to move my scissors out of the way. Okay, so we'll start. There's a hole, so your cuff ends here. You'll see there's a little hole under your cuff. That's where we're going to start. Always inside out. And we're just going to come through, through beside the little knot there. And we're going to start tacking the vamp on. On moccasins, I like to reinforce by going through this last and first hole three times. So that's reinforcing. So see, it's like a nice, nice solid um, start. And we're just going to do a basic stitch all the way around. You can see this. Um, when you're sewing your vamp on, the trick is to pull a little bit tight so that it starts to pucker, not too tight because then your foot won't fit in your moccasin nicely, but just enough so that it puckers a little bit. Oh, see, I missed a hole. Lesson learned. See how I have to go back through. Make sure I'm in the right hole here because if not, glad I noticed it now so I didn't have to retake the whole thing apart. So yeah, make sure that your hole is aligning with the next hole sequenced. And again, if you prefer to place your moccasin on the table when you're doing this part, totally fine. It's your preference. Whatever is easiest for you. is to hold it like this. Check it every so often, make sure it's shaping nice. Now that we're doing this part, it might be a time to put some good thoughts, some good energies into your moccasins.
Okay. Then we get into the next and wools. So you're going to notice you may have two holes on your vamp and one hole on your moccasin. This is where we're going to reinforce. And to do that, we're just going to go through. Our two holes are going to be tacked onto one hole on the moccasin. And again, we're going to go through this a few times. And we're almost done. We're going to go back through the vamp hole onto the inside. Pull through. And we're going to tie off here. On the inside. Okay. Do your knot a couple of times. I'm just going to do it once here. There. Now you have your moccasin. We're going to sew this on. So this goes through. So if this is to your um, and cut it to make a nice small thin just on the end of your moccasin just enough for your needle to go through this just helps to Lacing in. Okay. Don't cut it too much because you want to have, you want to be able to have enough of your tie. To tie your moccasin when you when it's on your foot, so your moccasin doesn't fall off. So there we have it. Just shape it as it goes along. I'm just gonna tie this guy on, and then. Your moccasin will be complete. It doesn't help. <laughs> okay, that should be good. See how I'm making it nice and pointy? So that it's able to go through your head nicely. Needle head, needle eye, whatever it's called. <laughs> okay. And so we're here, coming through the inside. Oh, I did that. So this through the outside, outside in, only on this part. Normally, 80% of the time it's always inside out, but on this side you're inside outside in. Okay. And back to the top. Okay, there we have it. Here's your completed moccasin. Little tie, so you can tie it on your foot. Thank you, Nyawa, and enjoy your moccasins.